All right, stand back, everyone. Detective Dino is on the case. We're playing as an NTSB detective in plane accident. There's been a plane crash. Oh, look, our boss. He's going to tell us more. Better skip the tutorial as I am a YouTuber. A nice try tutorial. You know I wouldn't read that. Take the backpack from the trunk. All right, let's see. Where's the trunk? Oh, right. Yeah, it's packed in the back. The backpack. Perfect. All right, let's grab our stuff and find out where this plane crash is and find out what happened. Oh, wow. Look at our tailpipe. Gross. <laughs> Oh boy, it's a cloudy day out, too. Power lines are everywhere. Luckily, none of them are clipped, so we don't have to worry about that. Find the wreckage. Well, I assume starting with the map might be a good idea. And we're deploying the drone literally into the power lines. Great work, me. Thanks, myself. Perfect. Good. The drones will go out and do my bidding. Good. Good. All right, let's start scanning for parts, then, of the aircraft, possibly. Although, there could be unrelated things around. Dude, that drone deploying is so damn cool. All right, what do we got? Something there, possibly. Let's go to zone two. <laughs> Can you get a pizza, by the way, while you're out? Okay, let's go to these three, and then we'll start on uh, zone one, two, and then we'll go three, four if we don't find it. So that should be just fine. Wow, pretty. Maybe I should take my camera, just in case there's uh, any anything beautiful out here. Wow, that's kind of weird. It's like a farm, but then, like, American suburbia, but then also farm. Weird. Anyway, I'll uh, put the camera away for now. All right, find the wreckage. So we should be near one right now. Could be over here. Could be a piece of the plane. Is there smoke or fire or anything? Oh, there's a piece. I see it right there. That is an AC unit. Okay. Not what we're looking for. There better not be freaking bears out here, by the way. L to the no. Uh-oh. I hear running water. Did someone leave the faucet on? Uh, hmm. Well, nothing out here except for water. Is there a path that leads to zone four? Let's go back this way. We'll go to zone... Uh, what was it? Two and three, I think, were on the right side? Two and four. Okay, so we check the odd sides. <laughs> That's odd, all those plants snapping in. Ooh, I can hear something. <gasps> I see it. I see a plane. There it is, we found it. Okay, let's get in there. Um, sneak through here. There's the crash site. Find the wreckage. All right, well, we just definitely found it, that's for sure. Oh, wow. The wreckage has been found. Mark the crash site. Secure wreckage. Okay, we gotta set these flags up then. All right, so we gotta put down five flags and mark the resting site of the airplane. What kind of a plane is that? Starts with D. Oh, and that's a German flag there. So we must be in Germany, but the license plate didn't look like that. Anyway, doesn't matter. Uh-oh. Oh, we got a freaking fire! No way! Uh, well, quick, what's the number to German 911? Hello? Oh, here we go. This'll work. Die, fire! Go die in a fire! Yeah, this is making extra sure. All right, well, that was exciting. Uh, hope that doesn't happen again. Where's the last flag go? Uh, gotta be around here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Great! Secure the evidence. Zero out of ten. Oh. Um, well, there could be more around, so let's deploy the rest of the uh, drone. We'll have that go look for some. Oh, wow, there's a lot of it. Oh, boy. There could be a lot of this stuff around. Okay, well, let's start with what's by the plane. We got a couple of wings and... Oh, there's a seat. And there's uh, the plane itself. Can we mark that? The yolk. Someone had ex exactly what I was thinking. Someone brought illegal eggs aboard. Can't mark that. Okay. Uh, where's the propeller? It's actually blown off the plane. It's got to be in front of it. There it is. There we go. Now we can mark it. So let's mark the door. The yoke. Uh, let's see. We mark the wing. Mark this piece too. Okay, there's got to be more behind us. Yep. A little hatch or something there. 
Let's check our map again. Looks like there's something near us. That's another AC unit, isn't it? Oh, it's a washing machine. <laughs> That's not it. Unless they were transporting illegal washing machines. Looks like there's something back here. Oh. It won't let me go any further. But it's over here. Ah, there it is. Eight out of ten. Two more things to find. Okay. Well, other than the washing machine, it looks like there's the plane itself and then something else. Ah, we're probably going to mark this. Excellent. One more thing. What could it be? Oh, the flask. Someone was doing a little drinking. Prepare photographic evidence. All right. Let's start taking some pictures. Work it, girl. You a sexy plane now. Work it. Oh, yeah, that's right. Ah, oh, you're beautiful, yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, there it goes. Okay, front end of the plane. Gotta take a picture of that flask, too. Careful. I guess we have to walk on the wing. Alright, one of the propeller up here by the fence. And one more. Maybe it's back by that other piece. Kind of hard to see the green highlight in the green grass, but it is indeed near this one found by the tree that we found earlier. Okay, so we're taking pictures of where everything was found. We marked everything. We cordoned off the area. We put out a fire. And we scanned for all the parts. Luckily, we're familiar with airplanes, so I guess we know all the parts that would be here. Order the wreckage to be transported. Oh, now we gotta... Oh, let's order a pizza. Uh... 1900 mix a lot and something nasty thoughts. Mission accomplished. Go to the hangar and establish the cause of the crash. Well, time to get into a little uh, CIA, FBI, something. And we're here. And there's all the evidence that we found, including the flask, propeller, doors, pieces of the wings. All right. Read the case documents. Read the documents of the case. Okay. Well, we got a wing here. There's the plane. I see the seats and stuff too, okay. Oh, it even tells you. <laughs> Stop yoking around. Uh, special tool stand, tool stand. We got batteries and a power drill. Uh, oh, packing stand, okay. Ah, wow, look at all the stuff we have to go over. Technical log, pilots, captain's log. Stardate, case files, photos, witnesses, computer, and a phone to work through. And this must be... Oh, there. That, that's got to be the plane we were looking at there. Ah, yes, of course. My favorite plane ever. A 747. Oh, yes. Totally not a A-10 or anything like that. Not at all. Not at all. All right, here's the case files. Let's see. Outside of Blue Creek... Oh, wait a minute, it was a German plane outside of Blue Creek Forest Reservation? Uh, okay. Flight route, New York, Mount Mary. Wait, what the heck? Okay. It, the more I read this, the more confused I am. I'm just going to go ahead and close this very slowly. And we'll not speak of that again. Wait, check the flight log. Okay. Uh, let's see, weather's okay, little rainfall, no disruptions, work without problems. Uh-oh. Engine slightly stuttered. Mechanic Paul's telephone number has been added. Alright, we gotta talk to him. Looks like that's all good there. Let's check the uh, technical documentation before we call Paul. We better call Paul. Okay. No malfunctions. Cockpit heating system repair. Replacement of steering lines in the left wing. That might be something. Okay. Well, we'll talk to Paul a little bit more about that. Uh, let's see. Let's check a look at witnesses. Let's check a look. We got the sheriff. 
The people who were witnesses were Helen and Old Bill. Okay. Dr. Quinsby says that the pilot had died. Numerous internal injuries caused by the aircraft crashing into the ground. Makes sense. And the assistant. The mechanic is named Paul, who's responsible for the aircraft. Maybe he'll know something. Mr. Goldberg's telephone number has been added. Okay. Check photographic evidence. Let's do it. Okay, so these are the photos that we took moments ago. Of where the... Oh yeah, the flask. Oh, we took a photo inside the hangar of the flask. Maybe a little better lighting. Okay, uh, let's see. Check photographic documentation. There's some more photos there. Oh, here we go. There's the assistant. Murder? Question mark? Alcohol? Question mark? I'm sure that had something to do with it a little bit more. Uh, check the photographic documentation. Didn't I do that all? Oh, it didn't count for the last one. Okay. What was the last photo, anyway? It was... Oh, the Aileron that we found there. Okay. Alright, uh, any more photos to hang? Nope. Okay, call the mechanic. I really want to order a pizza. Alright, now we got to make a scan of the surface. Check it by making a scan. He never makes screw-ups. Okay, well, we'll see about that. All witnesses. That's old, old Bill and Helen. Amen, brother. Like one of those weird old guys you see on TikTok. Let's see. Back in Vietnam, I served in the Air Force. Okay, okay Bill. Okay. That's great. Uh, let's see. It was flying in a slanted way as if it had trouble staying in the air. Hmm, that sounds like it's a little bit more of a control problem, but that could be anything, really. All right. Place all clues on the board. Uh, mechanic Paul, Old Bill, and he wants us to check the engine, and Helen says that it was flying in a slanted way, which could be the aileron. Al, 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 al dente. Alright, assemble the aircraft, make a scan of the aircraft, send the parts for examination, which includes the... Hey, damn it, I told you, Anthony. I don't want your damn helpful tutorial. I'm a YouTuber. I'll do it incorrectly and then be corrected by chat and or the comment section later. You know how this works. All right, send the parts for examination, the engine and the al, 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 al dente, and then check contents of hip flask. Hip hoppity yay yeah, yay. Yeah. All right. Uh, assemble aircraft. Okay, well, to do that, we're going to need a freaking uh, power tool drill and a fresh battery. There we go. Locked and loaded, ready to roll. Okay, let's grab a wing. Man, I wish it were chicken wings. You can tell I'm hungry, can't you? Oh, let's throw that wing on. Throw on the flap. And... An al dente. Cool. Let's put on the hatch. We found that just behind the plane. Uh, we need... Oh, that's the hip flask. We need to send that off for later. Uh, let's see, left side, right side, is that passenger side? Oh, that's pilot seat, passenger seat. Installed. Pilot seat. Installed. Door. There we go, and now the... Oh, we need the yoke in there, too. Can I open the door? Oh, we gotta take it off, okay. All right, then. Take off a whole door to put the yoke in there. You got to be yoking around with me, pal. All right, there it goes. Thank goodness I didn't have to take off the wing to do that. That would have been painful. All right, and low battery. We should have enough battery life to throw the propeller on, right? Hey, there we go. Cool. All right, make a scan of the aircraft. So we got to go over to the old drone scanner here. Uh, scan the surface, please. Go, drone, go! Do your thing. Perfect. Send the parts for examination, the engine, and the al dente now. 
Anthony, I'm not going to tell you again. Okay. Jeez, some people just can't stop backseating. Like, Anthony, I don't even see you back here. These two seats are empty. Get out of my mind. Okay. Okay, so now we got to take off the uh, propeller to get to the engine, I suppose. Ah, that's what these extra pallets were for. Okay. Wow, we're gonna we're gonna pull out a whole airplane. In, yeah, that's right. So strong. Why right, we could put that here, but let's put it in the packing station to start with, and then we should be able to set. Wait a minute. Do you see that in the lower left corner on the label? It literally says FedEx Ground with the registered trademark logo. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not complaining, I'm just saying. Alright. And we gotta take off the... This boy. You're coming with me, pal. And then we need to do the same with the hip flask. So the sus... Looks like we're suspecting a little bit more engine failure and steering problem, but I guess we'll find that out after we get our res uh, results back from the lab. Put down the gun. There we go. And let's grab the uh, flask now. I I swear to God. Anthony, please. Okay. He's just trying to be helpful. Maybe I should be nice. Oh, yeah, we got to put this in a box. See? I should have read the tutorial. God. All right, packing stand. Wow, that's a big box for that flask, though. Must be a ton of packing peanuts in there. Mmm, peanuts, so tasty. Alright, call the witnesses, receive the box, and email from the examination results. Receive the box, and... Oh, it's two separate results, yep. Yeah. Whoa, look at the coffee cups here. Alright. Anyway, let's call the witnesses again. So apparently there's four. So who's the last one? Oh, Miss Goldberg. Of course, it was her who usually flew the plane to the mountains. Oh, okay, that's her. Well, we apparently had her phone number before. And we also got to call Aerotech. Uh, let's do Miss Goldberg. How do we meet? Ironically, many years ago, we went in an Aero Club. Hmm, husband didn't want to give me a divorce. Whoa, leaning towards murder. Very sus, ma'am. Uh, let's call... What would the doc would the doctor have anything new to say? Oh, leave a message. Okay, he's highlighted. So it was. Wait, what? Things had been sour between the Goldbergs for a long time. She wanted a divorce, and he would say it would only be over his dead body. It was about their common property, a million dollars. For some time, Miss Goldberg would take a plane and look for some place and uh, peace and quiet in the mountains. It's very suspicious that this time she did not take the plane. Oh. And why is that, Miss Goldberg? Wait, let's call Aerotech first. Uh, let's see. Uh, did we take care of Miss Goldberg's plane? Yes, as far as I remember, she brought it here personally about a year ago. It looked like it was a good in the papers. Maybe Jim, who conducted the inspection, will be able to tell you something more. Unfortunately, he's not at work, but please try reaching him on his cell phone. Oh, we got to call. Oh, damn, Jim's not in. Damn. Well, Miss Goldberg, what can you tell us about murder? Okay. Okay, apparently everybody's not picking up their phone. <laughs> Let's see, any new messages? Probably all spam. Nope. Alright, receive the box and email with the examination results. Uh, well, no email yet. Oh, the van's back, though. Ah, there we go. Wait, I didn't crit. Okay, I could only I only could carry one thing at a time. Anyway, what did we get back? Ah, the flask. I'll put that on the desk there. Let's check the. Oh, hi. Looks like he for yeah you forgot something there, pal. Who's not drive? Wow, it's a computer. Thank you, robot. Damn technology. Alright, El Dente's back. Oh, it's the engine. 
And he should be pulling in with one last thing. There you are, pal. Oh, hey, why, why'd you leave? <laughs> you knew I needed one more thing. Okay. So, we've got our engine, the flask, and the aileron. I like how it's very low on the murder scale, yet that seems to be possible. Like, it, they all seem like it should at least be... Well, I don't know. Couldn't the... Couldn't any of those three problems, engine failure, alcohol, which is spelled wrong, and steering problems, all be, you know, sus for her? She knows her way around a plane. Whatever. Check emails. From the chemical lab. Having conducted the analysis, we can confirm that there's 15-year-old scotch whiskey inside. Cheers, the chem lab. Wow, 15 years? What brand? Wow, they, they broke it down. Uh, let's see, we found no malfunctions. The engine was operational. Okay. From the aerodynamics department, we checked the al, al dente and the primarily uh, the prim preliminary analysis showed that it could have fallen off before hitting the ground. We suspect it to be the fault of applied mounting screws. Further examination of the screws is needed. Excuse me? Call Dr. Quinsby. Why? Is the alcohol... There, was there whiskey in the hip flask? I recommend a blood test. Well, that's on you, Doc. You have to give the blood test, not me. Unscrew the screws and order Goldberg's blood test. How do I do that? Uh, wait, you're the doctor. You're the only one to give a blood test. Um, do I have to do it through the police, maybe? I don't have the sheriff's number. Ah, we'll just go through everybody again just to make sure. Game seems to be a little weird. Okay, whatever. Maybe I have to do it through the uh, email. Oh, there we go. The morgue. Diagnostic. Oh, I have to do it via email. Okay, why not just tell the doctor? Please carry out a blood test. The late Mr. Goldberg. Well, I... Okay, I talked to the doctor. He should be the one to recommend that. Ah, whatever. Damn weirdo game. All right, unscrew the screws. But wait, first we need more evidence. The wife is a pilot, too. Murder? Aerotech? What do they have to do with this? Hmm. And white whiskey. Wait a minute, that's not what he said. He said it was a scotch whiskey. Is that the same? I need to know more about this uh, whiskey. Maybe we should buy some just to, you know, test it uh, or whatever. Okay, cool. All right, let's unscrew the screws. From what? I'm not sure, boy. Oh, uh, let's see. Use the screwdriver with... Take the bag of screws from the table and send it to the... Oh, it's got to be from the aileron. Okay. Now, they say screwdriver, and this is more confusing. That's why the tutorial is kind of like almost more misleading. You're looking for a screwdriver, but this is what you're supposed to use. The, you know, the power drill. Anyway, we're supposed to take the screws from this. Uh, but how? I guess maybe I put it back on here? Nope. Maybe over here. To the special tool stand. Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. Send the screws for exam. Okay, hold on. Let me drop off my screw driver. Okay, good. All right, let's put these into the box. So apparently engine failure has been ruled out, so it still comes down to murder. Oh, we're supposed to take a bag of screws. Ah, there it is. Oh, did she mess with the screws? I got a couple of these up in my head loose. All right. Time to examine. Be a FedEx round. Bye, FedEx. Wow, you're not going very far. Okay, I'll be back later. I'm sure he's just broken down. <laughs> Don't tell me he doesn't... He doesn't just stop there in the middle of the tarmac, does he? All right, call more witnesses. Receive information about the blood examination and the bolts. Okay. So now we got to figure out if he was on alcohol or not. So if he was on alcohol, that's on him. If it were on the bolts, that'd be a steering problem, which could be on the wifey for murder. Mm, okay. Well, let's get the uh, results back first. Which I don't think we have anything. Okay, we got to do it in order. 
Let's call our witnesses again. So that'd be Helen. Wait, different witnesses. Maybe Jim? Yeah, I was the one that made the last inspection. I mean, in general, it was good. The Alron didn't touch it. As if it, it, if it were replaced, it must have been done earlier. Hmm. She's <laughs> Miss Goldberg's pretty hot for her age, by the way. Did I talk to her? Nah. I'm kind of shy with women. That's fine, Jim. You do you. Hello, Miss Murder. Uh, I'd want to leave him uh, for a long time, but he wouldn't grant me a divorce. <sighs> Ma'am, you need to plead the fifth. You are an idiot. You need you need to lawyer up the moment you were called. Why didn't I take the plane to the mountains that day? I took the car to, and visited my lawyer on the way. Well, then you're very, very familiar with lawyers, ma'am. In order to file the divorce, you could check it. I think you could do that online, honestly. And isn't that... What's that called? A, um, I forget what it's called. Uh, do you, a petition? I don't remember. Do you suggest that it was me who caused the accident? That's ludicrous. Well, ma'am, we'll check and see what my email says. All right, now we got packages back, too. Chemical lab. Uh, let's see. Inbox. Oh, we got to get the... Um... Uh, aerodynamics department says we've checked the aileron in the pre preliminary analysis. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, screws could have fallen off before hitting the ground. We suspect it to be the fault of applied mounting screws. We recommend for further examination. Oh, we already did that. Okay, okay. All right. So I got to grab these to figure out to get an email so in order for an email to be delivered to my email I have to get boxes out of a box van go figure whatever So, and that's also when Aerotech did a review. Well, then it's got to be on her. I'm leaning towards murder, then. <laughs> Lawyer. Yeah, okay. Wait, who the hell's Flycraft? Goldberg's plane inspection. Please give me a moment. I'll check. The plane was brought by... Bought? No, brought by Mr. Goldberg personally. It's about three years ago. Oh, okay. We made the inspection and replaced... That, amongst other things. Young Tom was taking care of it. I'll give you his phone number and maybe he'll do, uh, be able to answer more questions. Okay. Oh, Christ. A 19-year-old? We're all dead. Uh, lawyer. 
I can confirm that on this feral day, Miss Goldberg arrived at my office and we took care of her divorce papers. The proof? If <laughs> there's a need, I can provide monitoring footage from the office reception hall. No, I'm pretty sure your testimony in court and signed documents of her, like, petition would be fine, sir. I don't think we need literal video evidence of her walking in. Oh, now Tom's picking up. He must have been playing Fortnite. Yo, man, Goldberg's playing? Yeah, I remember it well. The Goldberg guy kept on screaming that he wanted it all to go faster. Exceptionally unpleasant character. If I wasn't at work, I'd punch him in the f his face in. I replaced the aileron. The problem with the screws? Got no idea. Ordered the screws at All Stuff Incorporated. Yeah, I can send the order. Young. Oh, he's sending the order page through the email now. Uh, let's see. Dear Tom from Flycraft, we've received your order from the uni for the Universal Screws. Oh, that idiot. Oh, my God. He ordered the wrong screws. The expected delivery time is four days. Thank you for shopping at All Stuff Incorporated. With a kind uh, regards, Lu Cheng. Idiot. Oh, it was, it was, it was, it was teenagers. Alibi confirmed. Yeah, she has an alibi. I still want to convict her, though. But now she gets... Now she gets a million dollar settlement because of... Uh, she's pro You know, to be honest, you know, young Tom's kind of handsome. I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm I'm just saying. Young Tom and uh, Miss Goldberg, you know what I mean? A couple of bad screws, a couple of other screwing. You get what I'm saying here? You know what I mean. Anyway, I think I need to order a blood test for me. <laughs> Can I get one too? Uh, all right, send the email with the test results of the bolts to all stuff. Wait, why would you be sending out evidence to them? Have you sold screws to Flycraft in the past? I have the test results. No, don't send them t the test results. Just subpoena for the... Okay, this is... Okay. Uh, do not have the required approvals, but I'd be grateful for an explanation. Wait for an email. Oh, now we got our email. Okay. That was pretty quick. Uh, we have indeed sold such screws, but it was clearly stated in the advertisement that they had no... Well, basically no quality. Since they're a collector's item, I'm attaching the screen... Wait, collector's item? He's ordering collector's universal screws? Excuse me? What the hell is going on? Alright, Tom, what's going on? Are you, are you in cahoots with the lady? Come on. Alright, I knew it would come back to bite us. These screws, Goldberg kept screaming he was in a hurry and that he had to have the plane ready for that moment. Unfortunately, there was no screws any no, like, quality screws anywhere. Missing stocks, I was sick and tired of that guy and the fact that he kept screaming at me I wanted him off my back so I ordered replacements for the screws on the internet well it still took four days they said they were no different from the originals I was young and stupid you still are that's your name in the phone Tom <laughs> well at least the young part uh, definitely wouldn't do that now believe me okay so negligence accidental negligence I don't think there would really be much of a crime here all right we've checked all the clues now we have to properly establish the cause of the crash at the very end of every clue on the board mark an x if the clue was false and v if it was the real cause of the event look on the clue good job you'll manage next cases i've taken care of other crashes goodbye the hell what do you mean what do you mean good job i haven't i'm not even done i could still fail okay young tom is there again all right establish the cause of the accident okay well uh, where's the guy? Wait, how do I do this now? Okay, yes. So it was young Tom. But it wasn't like he did it on purpose. Ellen said it was wobbling, so there we go. I don't think it was murder... Pretty sure the alcohol didn't have much to do with it, but there you go. Explanation of the case. Helen saw a plane flying in the slanted manner, which had lost control. The cause had been uh, the wing, which got detached from the wing. <laughs> this was caused by a fracture in the bolts, fastening the aileron. The bolts did not have the right tension strength. Uh, they shouldn't have been used in the aircraft. Young Tom, the mechanic, had used on certified bolts in order to fulfill Goldberg's unrealistic expectations as quickly as possible. The rush turned out to have fatal consequences. What happened to characters later? Young Tom has been accused of 
Dereliction of duty? The f He's not a cop. What the hell do you mean? Negligent homicide. What? No effing way. Might be facing up to eight years in prison. The interesting thing is that... Oh, come on now. If he... Okay. If Goldberg went to an LLC, Tom probably wouldn't have been charged. He'd be suing the company. Okay, whatever. It'd be a civil lawsuit. Uh, a civic lawsuit or whatever. Not... He, the kid wouldn't be going to jail. It'd all come down to money, like always. Anyway, she came, claims that her husband was a raging nutcase who would force others to obey him. So it was the boy's fault that he wanted to fulfill Goldberg's asserted demands as quickly as possible. <clears throat> Miss Goldberg inherited all the family fortune after her husband's death. She decided to per permanently move to the mountains and settle down with her new partner. Boy, I wonder who that could be. Uh, she hired an attorney to run the company. The assistant was immediately fired by Miss Goldberg due to basal baseless accusations. The boy did not receive positive letters of recommendation and has been having trouble finding work for a while now. Okay, whatever. Uh, the life of the remaining people haven't changed significantly. Still, the crash will remain in their memory for a long time. Damn it, I did it! Damn good job. Excellent work, me. Thank you, myself. And thank you for watching. If you haven't already, leave a like on the way out. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'll have some more giveaways on our Discord and whatnot. And thanks for smacking join and becoming members to support me like never before. If you like what I do here, I could really appreciate uh, or would really appreciate you leaving a like too, as I mentioned. It really helps me out. So I hope you all enjoyed today's uh, video of Plane Accident. Demo available now for free on Steam. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, buddy.